Hey everyone, it's day 19 of Vlogmas. In the video I posted yesterday, I said I was going to record it later in the day. And here I am at 11.30 on the 18th recording it because I'm going to be at work from 8 to 5 tomorrow. It's not my normal shift. Um, they changed me this week and my head is feeling a lot better. So go to work, from 8 to 5, and then I have an MRI of my brain and my neck. <clears throat> That's going to be super fun. So I probably won't have time to record a video for tomorrow, to post tomorrow, so recording it now. And the question today is, um, do I believe in personality tests? I don't remember the actual wording, and I'll feel like pulling it up right now. Um, and so I'll just go over some personality tests I have taken. I've taken True Colors. Um, I remember when I took it when I was an RA. It was kind of frustrating because somehow I was like every color. That tends to happen to me with some of those tests for some reason. Um, not like the Myers-Briggs. The Myers-Briggs broke it down a little more. But the um, true colors, for some reason, I tested basically equal across the board. So they just told me to like pick a color. I'm more inclined to go with blue or gold. If you know those colors and that, that's just more my personality anyway. Um, but it's always weird that... That happens to me in some tests like I just test equal and I don't know why <laughs> um, but primarily in this video I will be talking about the Myers-Briggs sorry if the camera is moving a lot it's my laptop and it's on my lap and it's gonna be moving sorry and so what was my question oh it's been a long day my head hurts I had a very interesting day actually. I almost didn't have a laptop today. Super fun. Alright, so what's interesting about my 16 personalities, and I know some people this happens to too, but this has been constant, pretty constant since I t took it probably when I was 20, 29 now. I like flip flop between two of them. So I am, and I've been primarily, um, for the most part, INTJ, which is the architect, and I think in some other places they call it the mastermind. But in here um, on 16personalities.com, it's the architect. So that's INTJ. And let me see. The other one I actually test for is ISFJ, which is the defender and I can see how I am both of them and I can actually switch between the two um, so I'll just tell you a little bit about them then you can learn a little bit about me because they're pretty matched up to me both of them so with the INTJ I've noticed both of them are introverts a lot of my friends don't see that I'm introverted because well when I'm comfortable around people or like in my zone of genius or like in something that I'm confident in yeah of course I'm not going to come off as an introvert but when I'm like in a party of people I don't necessarily know I can actually stay quiet and sit there and just watch and do absolutely nothing um, and I'm perfectly content with that. That's the, that's the difference. It's not that I'm scared. It's not that I'm having anxiety. It's not anything like that. It's that I'm perfectly content being by myself, just watching people have fun. I don't know why. Um, well, it's because of my personality. That's why. But let me see. Let me read this. This is the INTJ, the architect, in little snippets. It says, a natural thirst for knowledge that shows early in life. And often titled given the bookworm, which I think is interesting because I don't like books, but I will be on the internet trying to absorb as much information as possible. I don't like like physical books. I can do audiobooks. I can read things on my phone, but I don't like actual books. Um, I don't know why. I don't think I ever have. But the, the idea of the knowledge, like, I'm going to move this way too much. It's probably going to annoy someone. And you're going to go lower. Okay. So... Make sure that's still in. Okay. <laughs> and this one's funny. A paradox to most observers, INTJs are able to live by glaring contradiction that nonetheless make perfect sense. 
at least from a purely rational perspective. For example, we are simultaneously the most starry-eyed idealist and the bitterest of cynics, a seemingly impossible conflict. That's me in a nutshell. I can do both very well, very quickly, simultaneously in my head. Sometimes it confuses me. Um, and this is also true. I believe that with effort, intelligence, and consideration, nothing's impossible. And I think that's what gives me my drive. Like, if I want to do something that I want, that I, you know, if there's a goal I want to attain, that I truly want to attain, not like a, like a little goal, like a bigger goal, and I don't lose steam along the way, as in I don't stop caring about it. If I super care about it, super care. If I really care about it, I'm going to keep going. I'm very determined. I can be very um, annoying with that, too, because I'll just keep trying. Um, let me see. So I'm going to... And then I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to make this video super long because I do have two personalities that I test in, so... So these are some strengths, quick, imaginative, and strategic mind, high self-confidence, that's what kind of pulls me out of the traditional or whatever side of the introvert, independent and decisive, hardworking and determined, open-minded, jack-of-all-trades, and if you know me, you know I'm basically everything. I do everything. It's exhausting, but I do it. I don't know why. I can't, my brain doesn't stop. Um, my weakness is arrogant, yes, judgmental, very, over-analytical, completely, loathe highly structured environments. This is where I'm kind of eh about because I love structured, but if it's super structured and the structure makes no sense, that's where I get frustrated. Um, clueless and romance, that can be very true as well. <laughs> I can be completely clueless of what's going on. Um, and then I'm going to read probably one more thing on this. Where'd it go? Is that what I meant to click on? Um, what did I just click on? Okay. So, professional competence is often the area in which we shine most brightly. Our capacity for digesting difficult and complex theories and principles and converting them into clear and actionable ideas and strategies is unmatched by any other type. That's why it's called the architect and in other places called the mastermind. So, able to filter out noise, identify the core need or thread that needs to be pulled in order to unravel other messes. And that's interesting because I love doing that in my side business or my business, not my side business, my business. I like seeing the problem, I do it everywhere actually, I like seeing the problem, breaking it down, like ignoring the parts that don't matter, and then creating a solution, so that's actually perfect for me. So I'm now going to go to the Defender, which I think both of them can go hand in hand, especially when I need to like switch gears in my like, you'll see, let me explain this one. So the Defender, let me get... To it. It's also an introvert, so I'm introvert for both of them, and I'm ju judging type for both of them. Um, I'm receptive to change in ideas, and so this is where I connect to it the most. If I can protect you, I will, and that's the defender. So these personalities are a wonderful group, R rarely sitting idle while a worthy cause remains unfinished. You're able to connect with others on an intimate level, and it's unrivaled amongst... Wait, let me read that again. This is why I don't, like, read out loud sometimes. Ability to connect with others on an intimate level is unrivaled among introverts. And the joy they experience is using those connections to maintain a supportive and happy family is a gift for everyone involved. I... I guess it's interesting because the... INTJ can be a lone wolf, but the defender is very, like, driven by making sure everybody is happy, kind of. Um, and, let me see, Beyonce is actually a defender, if you're wondering. Who else? Vin Diesel is, too. Um, I'm going to go to strengths and weaknesses. This is for the defender. 
Supportive, reliable, patient, imaginative, and observant, enthusiastic, loyal, and hardworking, good practical skills. Weaknesses, humble and shy, which has been really bad for like interviews and stuff. Taking things too personally, I do, but I might not tell you. <laughs> Repressing their feelings, bingo. Overloading themselves, every day. Reluctant to change, um, yes and no. I guess there's the, like the other one that's like, it depends on the situation. Some things I'm like, yeah, let's go for it, let's change it. Some things I'm like, nope, nope, nope. And too altruistic. Sometimes, yes. So if you mix all those together, and then you mix it with the uh, architect, I am just an overloaded, overthinking stress ball. But I'll keep doing it if somebody's happy about it. Meh. Nah. So, career paths for this one. <laughs> it's no surprise that many ISFJs are not just good at supporting their coworkers and customers in human resources and support positions. They generally enjoy it. Genu generally. Genuinely enjoy it. As it gives them a chance to calm frustration and see things through a practical solution and to be thanked, appreciated, and at the close of each ordeal. So like I said before, like we, I really do like helping other people. And, mm -hmm. then if you go through these things, they'll tell you what actually works for you in certain places. Like for example, um, what's it called? Uh, like, this personality prefers to be rewarded by seeing firsthand the positive impact of their efforts. So, I don't really like to brag about my accomplishments. And when I do, I'm just, like, messing around because I know I do that at work sometimes. But it's just because I'm being comical. Um, I just want to see that something changed. So, if, if I did something and nobody gave me the credit for it, but something went positive for it, that's all I care about most of the time. So... That's why it says here is they make them natural counselors, technical support, interior designers. I'm not sure about interior designer, but I do help coach some people. I do support people in a technical manner in everything that I do. So as you can see, they kind of, for me at least, they kind of go hand in hand together because they just basically, it's probably why I kept getting them over and over. I have a little bit of here and a little bit there. Now I understand for these that technically everybody's a little bit of everything and the test just shows your dominant characteristics completely understand that but I tend to be dominant in these two personalities out of the 16 so yes do I follow it believe in it whatever I do um and I like knowing others not not just because I'm nosy but because I want to know like it's kind of like uh horoscopes I want to know something probably my architect side. I want to know everything that I can about someone so I can interact with them, the defender side, in a way that's going to actually support them. So if I know that somebody butts heads over one particular issue because of their personality, maybe I could find, find another way to communicate with them. So I could see how they both go hand in hand. I want to know everything that I can about someone so I can do whatever I can to support them. That makes sense. Makes sense in my head. Um, I'll probably see you guys. Well, not probably. I will. I'm I'm going to do this vlogmas, even if I'm recording at like three o'clock in the morning, like I did one day. I will do this, and yeah, I don't know what question I'm gonna answer for the twentieth, but I'll answer something. I'm gonna go work on something. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye.